Last Monday, data released by San Francisco state officials show an alarming increase in fentanyl-involved overdoses and deaths. In September, three out of every four drug-related deaths involved fentanyl. Fentanyl is classified as a synthetic opioid, and I think fentanyl really skyrocketed in the last couple of years because the uh, Oxycontin that was heavily prescribed across our country pretty much got shut down. Scott Silverman, an interventionist and CEO of Confidential Recovery, told NTD why fentanyl has suddenly become so pervasive. Fentanyl is something that's actually easy to make, uh, easy to import. And the manufacturers that are putting it together see America as a very big target and a big consumer. So it's coming in from a variety of different places, being made in a variety of different places, and also can be purchased and on the dark web and manufactured in your garage. According to the DEA, fentanyl is 50 times more potent than heroin and 100 times more potent than morphine. It still remains the deadliest drug threat facing this country. Probably the last 10 years, we've seen a huge climb in fentanyl, and the opioid craze has been significant. And of course, we're seeing the morbidity rate, the death rate skyrocketing because of fentanyl. The DEA is advising the public against a dangerous new trend of colorful fentanyl pills, which have spread throughout the United States. DEA Administrator Ann Milgram said, Rainbow fentanyl, fentanyl pills and powder that come in a variety of bright colors, shapes and sizes, is a deliberate effort by drug traffickers to drive addiction amongst kids and young adults. Silverman warns that fentanyl can be easily camouflaged and is being laced with many medications. Recently, there was a, a bus by the DEA, and the medication itself was in the shape of uh, Lego blocks. And I know that there were, there's a big concern with, with Halloween coming up that people might be passing out that candy. The data covering deaths from January 2020 until the present show that San Francisco has seen over 1,800 drug-related deaths. That's nearly doubled COVID-19 deaths, just over 1,000. This year alone, the Bay Area has had 451 overdoses, with 319 that involved fentanyl. 400 people a day right now are overdosing with some form of opioids across the country. Up to 80%, 80% of our illicit drugs that are out on the streets, and this is in California, are laced with fentanyl. Silverman stresses that San Francisco needs to campaign, bringing more awareness and education to the public really needed to raise the bar because we're seeing a lot of young people. And right now, nationally, 18 to 45-year-olds, it's the number one killer. The most important thing we can do is we can talk about it like we are now and reduce this stigma and realize that, you know, fentanyl is not a party drug. Fentanyl is a poison. Silverman says his treatment center, Confidential Recovery, works with all kinds of individuals in the private sector. This month, he's launching a new nonprofit called the Veterans Navigation Center, which will focus on veteran aid and recovery. There's help and hope out there, and there are people that want to help address this issue. To create systemic change, we have to talk about it. We have to sit at the table with our children, and we have to listen, and we have to understand that this is a poison, and there is options out there. According to the CDC, drug poisonings are still the leading killer for Americans between the ages of 18 and 45. In 2021 alone, almost 110,000 Americans died from drug overdoses. Daniel Hall, NTD News, California.